a yearly exam. I know what my job is to do yet, your yearly exam. So mm -hmm. when you change from the unhealthy eating way of eating the lifestyle and went from there to the healthy eating the lifestyle, how much were you and you went to your provider and they saw that difference, how much of a jump or a big drastic change they noticed when they would check your HDLs, your LDLs and right. all those lists of numbers. Right. That's another listen, Morgan did her research. I'm impressed with Morgan, Morgan, ma'am. Morgan did her research. I told you don't sleep on me. <laughs> Morgan did her research now. So your LDLs and HDLs, so you have good cholesterol and bad cholesterol. Your full panel changes completely on a whole food plant-based diet. Even on a vegan, a somewhat of a junky vegan diet, you can you're still gonna get significant changes because your fat it primarily your fat and saturated fat and oils and things come from your diet and lifestyle. They, and it takes a couple of weeks to reverse diabetes, type 2 diabetes. It doesn't take a year. You can even reverse heart disease. You can literally reverse. What is, what is heart disease? What is it? It's your, it's your endothelial cell dysfunction. And it is what is in the cell that's making it clogged. Mm -hmm. This is a question for you. I'm going to answer the question because there's no need to do guessing game on your time. It's oil. It's fat. What is fat? Mm -hmm. It's the food. The oil, you don't get born, you know, most people are not, you know, it's not congenital. It is degenerative diseases that we're dying from. It's degenerative diseases that are costing 96 cents of every dollar of Medicare dollar and 83 cents of every Medicaid dollar that's costing $5,300 per person in your house on taxes mm -hmm. a year to the tune of $3.7 trillion a year for all of us from fat in there. This, and you know what that is? That comes from chicken. 70% of its calories from fat. Squid, loaded with, with squid. Keeping the, keeping the healthcare bit industry booming. Like I, I worked with the hospital system, so I know. Keeping right. those machines and, going. And, and, yeah, and unfortunately, only 27% of medical schools have any single course on nutrition. They have one course, 27% of American medical schools. So that means the other 73 medical schools have no courses on nutrition. And then who are you asking about health? You go to your doctor who looks like he needs a doctor or she needs a doctor in most cases. And you're asking them who have no nutrition information. You're asking them what to eat. And they say, oh, cut down on your um, starchy starches and, 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 and do a low fat diet. No one, that is, most of them are have heart disease. Again, seven out of 10 Americans have it. So what makes them, they don't get, not get counted. They don't have the, they don't learn in medical school that. They are, they're, they're great for a broken leg or a broken arm or cracking your chest open once you have a heart attack, but they're not good at preventative or holistic medicine or the things that prevent and arrest and reverse disease. They're good at dealing with the problem and managing it, okay? So you need to find people and go to places where you can get that source of information. And that's where we're lacking.